Hello, Yarnabees. Woo, 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 woo. Don't show that. <laughs> Hello. I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> I think it's Friday, but I don't have, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> um, I have a few things to talk to you about. Not a lot, just a few things. Cup of, yeah, take a cup of my coffee. <laughs> yeah, sip of my coffee. Because apparently I really need it. Yeah. Okay, so. um, I wanted to talk to you about the Christmas and July fairies, but I'm going to leave that to the end. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. I wanted to thank Madonna Ballard uh, for doing her yarny, uh, yarn, yarn, good, good yarn news, good yarn, yeah, that segment. <laughs> uh, thank you for shouting me out for the raffles. That was sweet of you. Um, we are going to be doing the drawing on Monday, this Monday. I'll put the date here because I don't know what the day is. Uh, so you still have time to get your tickets for that raffle. They're $5 Canadian. Uh, and the link is down below. <sighs> and you could win a big box of yarn. <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> Sandy Duda from, um, Left is Right Crochet just won the last one. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> um... Yeah, so anyways, that would if you want to get involved in that, go get your tickets. Okay. Um uh did I did that wow I did all that in one blow. Ooh, one one go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Um I have a finished object and I have a whip. And I've had this whip forever because it's still taking me a long time. But I did show it to you and I, I have figured out the sleeve. Thank goodness, because it was driving me bonkers. Okay, let's try and get some of this here. Okay. Oh my goodness, come on, so much yarn. Okay, so there's this, okay. Remember I was saying that the this sleeve was so wide. It was just craziness. Well, guess what? I figured it out. Yay. So yeah, I'm hoping it's going to work. <sighs> but yeah, so I figured that out. So I started doing it last night. I had to frog it like three times until I could get it right. <sighs> and um, yeah, so there I have it. And I got to do the other one. I, I'm doing... <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to do long sleeves or short sleeves. I'm getting so sick of doing this sweater. It's not even crazy. It's crazy. And I haven't even done the, the collar or anything yet. So, <clears throat> so I figured that out. Thank goodness. Okay. My FO. Check it out. Check it out. I have to say... I'm very proud of this. I'm very proud of this. You can't even see it all. So I'm going to um, switch you and show you the whole thing. Okay, so excuse my copious amounts of yarn here. <laughs> I said I was on a yarn band, but hey. Okay, so here it is. It's kind of Victorian, um, which I wasn't expecting, but I thought, well, that was kind of cool. But it's got the kind of a short sleeve, and it goes down, and the hips have a ruffled effect to them. Oh, my finger's in the way. Sorry. So, yeah, they have a ruffled effect. And then it goes down into a point. I have to actually, um, I have to steam it so that it looks the way it's supposed to. But, and then, oh, trying to turn it around. 
turn it around sorry guys and then it comes down to a point in the back so like I said I gotta steam it still but yeah it comes down to a point in the back so that's how it looks from the back but I thought it was really cute and it looks kind of cute on and then I've got my little heart buttons on here except guess what they're magnetic snaps yeah <laughs> so they're like ah can't do this with one hand um they're like fake oh anyway they're like fake uh buttons so yeah so i thought it was kind of cute the way it turned out the this is like your hip area right so you got the ruffles on your hips so there you have it <laughs> so i just finished doing like five or so minutes of video and I didn't realize that the camera didn't come on or something because my camera just shut off and it's like oh great okay so um as I was saying is oh, I don't even know what I was saying but this is there's no pattern to it um I just kind of made it up except for the base basis of the um the sweater there is a pattern for that and it's like the um cape shawl or something but I found that it just left like this big hole this like uh, I don't know so I just figured it out <laughs> by accident probably um but yeah so I'm quite happy with the way that it turned out and that's that I have some other whips that I'm doing that I can't even talk about because it's just copious amounts of whips and stuff so anyways I went to Michael's yesterday and I guess I missed the big sale that was going on because there the shelves were bare literally bare I could not believe it I've never seen the shelves so empty at Michael's I almost wanted to cry <laughs> it was just it was very emotional um but i did get a few things so that's good uh some of this i think you've seen already these were on for like 3.99 uh it's country loom uh color burst isn't that pretty uh the last one i got of this is in browns ah uh course I don't have my glasses on oh these are my old glasses oh now I'm really gonna look like I'm from the 80s <laughs> um this is purple power is what this is so pretty so I got like six of these because I'm planning on hopefully making a sweater with it I'm starting to buy everything in sixes now uh for sweaters it's crazy um, then I got this charisma. There was very little charisma there. It was insane. But this one was the only one there, which really surprised me because everybody likes purple. So anyway, uh, this is the charisma and it is called ultraviolet. That purple is astounding to me. Like it's just, it's such a vibrant purple. I just love it. Yeah. So I bought, I think I bought six of those. <laughs> and then I got two of these. I paid full price for them, except well, one I didn't. I used a coupon for one. Um, uh, this is the Karen Big Cake. And the color is Cookie Crumble. I love that. 
I love that. So I bought two of those. Uh, I'm hoping, because these are there all the time, I believe. Um, I'm hoping to be able to make a sweater out of this. Or maybe a cardigan or something. I don't know. Depends on the pattern that I use. But uh, two might not be enough. But I just thought I'd grab the two. Because $11.99. They're $11.99 for us in Canada. That's expensive. But I have never gotten this one. So I thought, what the heck? I'm going to get it. And then I got some of these, um, I call them diaper fins. <laughs> but I got some of those because I made a whole bunch of stitch markers. And I want to start sending them out. So there's that. Okay, I want to give out one shout out because I just found this girl. She's got about six videos, I think it is. She just started like two months ago, I think she said. And I, I can't believe I haven't even found her before because she's a Canadian Yarny sister. Who knew? Uh, her channel is Naughty Yarnies. And I will put the link to her channel down below or, or up high or so I'll, I'll put it somewhere. Um, she has 115 subscribers and, uh, you know, she's, she's already doing really well, you know, like uh, go check her out. Right. She's, I mean, the wall of, the, I just could not believe the amount of yarn she had on this little wall, two walls, like, I was like, wow. So I was quite impressed with that. I also got a little happy mail. And on the back, look at that, isn't that cute? A little washi tape. And this is from Donna Breeson. I hope I didn't butcher that. Bryson? Bryson? Oh, I'm really bad with names. Um, oh. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh. She says, thank you. Look, guys. Look, I've always wanted one of these pins. Oh. Oh, look at that. I've been looking for these pins everywhere. Oh, thank you so much. You have no idea how happy that just made me, Donna. I really, because... I just, I love these kinds of pins and I can't find them. I wanted to get some of them to send out to my Yarny sisters and stuff and I can't find them. So she says, hi there, just a small token of thanks for all of your sharing on YouTube and all the smiles you've brought to my face. It's from Sunshine with Claire. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, mm. Woo. I haven't cried in a while. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. <laughs> oh, that means the world to me coming from you. Like, really. Thank you so much. Oh, I, I just love this pin. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh. If you guys can ever find any, um, like yarn pins or sheep pins or llama pins or anything like that, you know, like send me one because <laughs> I just love them. Oh, this means so much to me. Thank you. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Here it is. 
Oh, thank you so much, Donna. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, that just, oh, that just made my day. <laughs> oh, okay, I think that's it. That just totally threw me. Now I'm just, I have no idea if that, is that everything I was talking about? Oh, no. <laughs> Christmas in July fairies. <sighs> okay. Um, a lot of the YouTubers that are involved in the Christmas in July fairies have been kind of talking amongst each other and some of us have no idea of what to send the winner right whether it's the the grand prize winner or the winner of who we pick on our channels we're kind of stumped oh sorry mailman hang on sorry about that she really doesn't like the mailman. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that a typical dog thing? <laughs> anyway, um, so we're kind of stumped as to what to send. And so I want your opinion. Comment down below. Close your eyes. Come on. I know it's corny. Close your eyes. Now imagine you are the winner. What, and you, you have the package in front of you and you open it up. What is it? Okay. Help a girl out because we are really stumped. It's really hard to pick something for someone else, right? It's great if you do like a giveaway or something like that and you say, this is what it is. So if you want to get involved, then comment but when you have to send something to somebody as a gift it's a little nerve-wracking because we don't know you right so we don't know what to give you we don't know your colors we don't know what you like we don't nothing so we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants with this so just imagine what it would be like if you were the winner and comment down below and tell me what it is you would like okay because who knows you might be the winner you might be the winner of my giveaway you know so it would be really nice to know you know give us some ideas you know i mean a, a person can only get so many dishcloths there's over a, there's about a hundred a hundred i a hundred um christmas and july fairies that are involved in this okay so can you imagine getting a hundred dishcloths <laughs> just saying give us a variety um and then you know i'm hoping that some of the yarny sisters out there actually okay i'm gonna challenge all of my yarny fairy yarny fairy sisters <laughs> my christmas in july yarn fairy christmas in july fairies <laughs> there we go i'm challenging all of you right now do a video and ask your yarny sisters sub subscribers whatever you want to call them ask them if they were the winner of your giveaway and the grand prize giveaway what would they want what would they want um then it'll give us all an idea Okay, so there you have it. That is my challenge to you guys, all of you, all of you. <laughs> okay, everybody, so thanks for joining me. Thank you to all of my new subscribers, all of my new new Yarny sisters. Holy cow, that's the buzz going on with all of us um, content creators is how much our subscribers have jumped Um the the amount of subscribers have jumped up with this this christmas and july fairies thing holy smokes like i can't believe how many more subscribers i've got and i can't be more i, I can't be more happy like i'm just so thrilled that you guys are here you know so i hope you stick around i hope that you know you don't just 
leave after the contest because you know we we have good content right and we'd love to have you and i do giveaways i do um i do lots of stuff right and a lot of us do so it means the world to us that you're here and uh so thank you thank you okay i'm gonna stop babbling now i'm gonna go drink my coffee and i'm gonna tackle the sweater <laughs> and i will talk to you guys later okay i love you all bye mm -hmm.